Hello! What's up, guys? My name is Tanner Babcock. I'm coming at you with another brand new video. Today I'm going to be installing a little Linux distribution called Nix OS. It's a very cool, very unique distribution that I've had my eye on for a while, and today I'm finally going to take a look at it. But uh, first things first, here's my GitHub sponsors profile. If there's anyone out there at all who wants to sponsor me and my work, uh, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I really need some money. These are the reasons why I need some money. Uh, if you choose to sponsor me, you could choose to give me a fixed one-time amount or you could give me a, uh, a monthly subscription. You could choose to pay me $4 a month. You could choose to pay me $20 a month. Or you could pay me $100 a month. Here's some of my repositories. Yeah, I would really appreciate some money. <laughs> and I also have a Patreon now so if you guys watch my videos and <clears throat> and you like my videos and you wanna like and comment and subscribe to my channel to help me out and support the channel uh, please consider donating and subscribing to my Patreon you will get early exclusive access to all of my videos and you will get many other perks I have an $8 tier, I have the $16 a month tier, I have the $32 a month tier, which will give you additional privileges on my, uh, my Discord channel. I have the $64 a month tier, which will give you even more privileges. But uh, yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get to the installation. <coughs> so. I downloaded a couple of these ISOs from uh, the NixOS website. The first one I'm going to be installing is uh, the easy one, this NixOS GNOME ISO. And before I install this, I am going to verify the integrity of this ISO. NixOS GNOME. Da, 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 dot ISO. It's going to take a minute here. and All of the ISOs that you download from uh, the NixOS website, they all have these little hashes in the, in the file names. I'm not sure what that's for, why it does that. Uh, NixOS is just kind of funny. Uh, it's famous for its isolated build environments. Um, it's, uh, it's also famous for its package manager, which is very fast and secure and stable. And uh, <clears throat> NixOS also has its own uh, markup language or scripting language that uh, it uses for its configuration files. As you can see, the SHA-256 sum <clears throat> has, uh, has calculated our hash here. The 3CFD3. <clears throat> now all we have to do is compare that with the, uh, the SHA-256 file that I've downloaded. Uh, this image that I downloaded, it's just the GNOME a GNOME image, and then I clicked on this to get the, the checksum. But yeah, let's verify that. If we look at this file, we can see that this is a, a genuine copy, a genuine Nix OS ISO, because these two hashes are the same. So, we can go ahead and make a new virtual machine and install NixOS. I'm going to adjust the, adjust the light there. Local install media. Go to this VM directory. 
install nixosgnome.iso. It's going to populate and choose nixos unstable. Go forward. How much memory? Uh, 4098. And I'm going to give it four of my eight CPU cores. How big should this disk image be? Uh, like, like I did in my Slackware video, I'm going to make it 19 gigabytes. That seems to be a good amount. <clears throat> and I'm going to click Finish. And that is going to bring up the NixOS installer. Here we go. When you boot the NixOS Live Media, it's going to give you uh, this bootloader here. Just select the first option here. Change the view, make it bigger, so you can see what's going on. This is what it looks like when NixOS starts up. I think it looks pretty cool. NixOS is an independent Linux distribution. <clears throat> it's also kind of strange how NixOS, uh, they release their package manager for use on other Linux distros. That's kind of weird. I do not recommend <laughs> installing a new package manager on your Linux machine that is not the, <laughs> the appropriate package manager for your distribution. That's, a, that's just crazy, and that kind of thing never ends well, but... <laughs> Yeah, give it a minute to start here. This is the GNOME version of NixOS. And you get this nice little uh, GNOME 3 desktop. Um, oh, it's going to start this installer right away. I'm actually going to not do that yet. I'm going to uh, change the screen resolution. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Go to settings here. Yeah, I've been playing with uh, NixOS and my virtual machines, trying to figure out how the package manager works and what's going on with it. And <laughs> just what's going on on the operating system in general. It's definitely a unique distribution that has its own stuff going on. Uh, you know, its own build system, its own package manager, its own uh, environment, ecosystem. So that's why I think it's interesting. I've had my eye on it for a while. Um, and I just want to learn how it works and try it out, so that's why I'm making this video. Let's uh, bring up the installer again. I am installing NixOS the easy way. Uh, NixOS just recently implemented this uh, Kubernetes installer as a part of their uh, live media. And uh, this makes it really easy to install their operating system. You used to just have to install it uh, from the command line. But I'm just going to go through the steps of this Kubernetes installer. Full name, Tanner Babcock, just do Babcock. Password's just going to be password. I'm going to use the same password for the administrator account. I'm going to go to next. What desktop environment do I want? Uh, it's cool how it has this little menu here. You can choose between GNOME, KDE Plasma, Xface, Pantheon, Cinnamon, Mate, Enlightenment, and LXQt. Or you could choose no desktop. That's interesting. 
I'm going to go ahead and go with GNOME. Click Next. Uh, I don't know. I guess it has to ask you this. I'm just going to choose Yes, Allow Unfree Software. I'm going to do some manual partitioning of my virtual hard disk. I've done this a few times now, so uh, <laughs> I know how it works, how to get it working. Install bootloader. Um, go back. Yeah. Manual partitioning. Next. New partition table. The new partition table, if you are installing on a virtual machine like I am, it has to be the uh, GUID partition table. But if you want to install Nix OS on a real hardware, you're probably going to want to want uh, the master boot record, MBR. But I'm going to go with GPT just because I know that it's going to work on the virtual machine. So I just have 19 gigabytes to work with. I have this big chunk of uh, free space here. I'm going to create my root partition. How much should this be? 17975. 17.5 gigabytes for the root partition, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to pick X4, tried and true X4. Uh, I'm going to encrypt it too. I'm just going to see, see what happens and encrypt the root partition. Passphrase is just going to be 1234. So I will have to enter that when I first boot into my new Nix OS installation. Mount point slash. And flags, uh, I'm going to give it the root flag and the boot flag. So yeah, X4 partition, 17.55 gigabytes. Going to go ahead and make that, and it will say Lux L U K S because it's going to be an encrypted partition. And uh, Nix OS, uh, when you use uh, the the GUID partition table, you're going to need to have a eight megabyte unformatted uh, boot partition. So you have to make this 8 megabytes exactly and choose unformatted. And then you're going to want to pick the bias grub option. And the, uh, the grub bootloader is going to live here <clears throat> in this unformatted partition. So I'll just click OK. So now I have the main root partition that's 17.55 gigabytes. I have this tiny partition that's 8 megabytes, it's going to be the bootloader, and the rest of this free space is going to be swap space. 1.44 gigabytes. If you install Nix OS on a, on a physical hardware, you're probably going to want uh, more swap space than that. I'm going to encrypt the swap partition also. The same passphrase, one, two, three, four. And make sure you click on the swap label. And there. There's our new partition table. 17.5 gigabyte root partition. The 1.4 gigabyte uh, swap partition and this 8 megabyte unformatted uh, boot partition. So now I'm going to click Next. GPT partition table is the best option for all systems. To configure a GPT partition, yes, this is just telling you to make the, uh, the 8 megabyte unformatted partition with the BIOS grub. And I did that already because I've gone through this installation before. I'm going to click OK. And yeah, everything looks good to me, so I'm going to click Install.
Nix builds packages in isolation from each other. This ensures that they are reproducible and don't have undeclared dependencies. So if a package works on one machine, it will also work on another. Declarative. Nix makes it trivial to share development and build environments for your projects, regardless of what programming languages and tools you are using. So yeah, that's really cool. This is the, uh, the very basic newbie getting started guide. Uh, it just lists some shell commands here for their package manager and their, uh, their Nix shell command. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still figuring this out, you know, I still don't know what's going on. Uh, but I want to learn. I always want to learn. Uh, you know, certain Linux distributions just get my attention because there seems to be, you know, something unique or something unusual about them. And Nix OS, it just seems to have like a cult following almost has this cool package manager and has this cool ecosystem so I'm gonna try it out. The NixOS website, nixos.org, uh, has a lot of helpful resources here. Oh, my face crashed. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, and I'm going to uh, start it up again when this is done installing. It really shouldn't take that long. It should only take five minutes or so, but yeah, I'm going to stop the video here, and I'll be back in just a And I'm back. The installation has finished. It says all done. <clears throat> I'm going to restart the virtual machine now. I'm just going to click on this uh, checkbox here. And I'll click done. And it will restart. The system is going down for reboot now. Right now. <laughs> and uh, because I encrypted my uh, main disk drive, it's asking me for the passphrase that I came up with. That passphrase is one, two, three, four. I'll hit enter and it'll bring up grub. <clears throat> I think it's always a good idea to have a, an encrypted hard drive or an encrypted solid state drives that gives you an extra layer of security on your uh, on your laptop or your computer or whatever all you really have to do is just do an extra couple of steps when you're installing your distribution and remember your passphrase <laughs> so you don't get locked out and just enter that passphrase when you boot up You'll be all encrypted. <laughs> I did encrypt the root partition and the swap space, but it looks like I only have to enter my uh, my passphrase once. I think it unlocked both of them. Ah, here we go. The fresh Nix OS installation. I'm gonna click on my user, just type password, because that's my password. Welcome to GNOME 43. If you want to learn your way around, no thanks going to find the settings and uh, change this screen resolution. Pretty nice wallpaper there. 
Yeah, NixOS offers both uh, GNOME and KDE Plasma live live media environments. So you can download either of those from their website and use that Kubernetes installer that I just used. And they make it really easy for you. So now what? Is this going to close? No. I don't know. Activities. Hmm. That's weird. I was having trouble with this a minute ago. This window wasn't closing. I'll just go to activities and I'll open up a uh, terminal. If there's one installed, there's got to be something besides xterm. But I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there is, so uh... I'll install one. To install a package on NixOS, you have to type nixenv i and then the name of the package. Let's install Alacrity so that we can have an actual terminal to use. I thought this would have installed the default GNOME terminal, but I think I saw that when I was in the, the live environment, but now I don't see a, a terminal option. This window is not closing. Quit. Okay. Yeah, sorry, that text on that terminal is really hard to read. I know. I'm hoping I can get Alacrity installed and then maybe you might be able to see what I'm typing on my terminal in here, so. It always takes a minute or so to, for it to look up the name of the package. This should work. Like I said, I'm still learning about all of this. I haven't really used NixOS that extensively, so that's why I'm making this video so I can learn more about it. And I can talk about it. Maybe find a NixOS user out there who can tell me, you know, what they think about it. Hmm. So, I don't know how long that's going to take, but we're waiting for that. I'm going to show off my website. You guys should all check out my website. It's called TannerBabcock.com. Uh, I have a lot of cool stuff on here. I have my art. I have all of my music. I have uh, film reviews and album reviews. And I have this Linux section with a lot of helpful resources for new Linux users. Here's the Void Linux install guide. I have some basic Unix Linux shell commands. I have Git for beginners. And I also have the GNU slash Linux software guide. So if you're new to Linux, uh, check out my website and check out the Linux section. Maybe you'll learn something. Okay, it installed it. It's very tiny there, and it took, I don't know, 30 seconds to install Alacrity. So now let's type Alacrity. Aha, that looks better. I'll do Control plus or Control equals Let's make that text bigger. 
Yeah, that looks a lot nicer. Oh! Hmm. What happened to it? Okay. Yeah. In Nix, it is possible to bring up a, uh, a shell with the program Nix Shell with a, a certain package, like not really installed, but kind of available for you to use. It's, uh, it's hard to describe. I don't really have my mind all the way around it. But like if you type something like Nix Shell and then P NeoFetch, that will give me a new Nix Shell with the NeoFetch package. So I would be able to use uh, the NeoFetch program without having to install it. So Now as you can see my prompt has, uh, has changed. I'm still in home Babcock, my home directory, but now if I type NeoFetch it's going to give me that nice, pretty NixOS Snowflake NeoFetch. That's pretty cool. And this GNOME is using Wayland. That's cool. What about a HTOP? It says HTOP command not found, so if I wanted to run HTOP, I could probably just do that. Nix shell dash p h top let's see if that works now we'll bring up a new nix shell yeah look at these long hashes and these are the names of the the packages copying path from cache.nixos.org yeah it's just interesting it's just it's just interesting typing these commands seeing what happens. So now if I type HTOP it will bring up HTOP. I will be able to use the program HTOP without having to actually install it. So that's really cool. There's the alacrity processes. So yeah, that's NixOS. It's a it's a lot of fun just messing with it, trying things out. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to install it <laughs> on install it on my real computer because I I just think it's cool and I think the package manager is interesting and I just love unique distributions like this. So. Yeah. Try out NixOS, everyone. It's a it's a lot of fun and it's a really cool and really useful Linux distribution. Anyway, that's my video guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my website. If you like and appreciate my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And once again, check out my GitHub sponsor's profile. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.